Hi Sagittarians, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I'm doing a general spread for you. Happy birthday. We are officially in Sagittarius season. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know, I always feel something good happens in your season. I do have a Sag rising, but I don't know. I feel miracles always happen around your season, but I'm going to look at the strongest energies around you right now. And then I'll be looking at the past a little bit, the opposing energies and what is headed in. If it sounds like something you've been going through when I look into your recent past energies and this is your reading. This is how I resonate with people. But I'm gonna get started. Spirit guides for the sign of Sagittarius, one or two cards for the strongest energies around my Sagittarians, please. What do you wanna show me about the strongest energies around my Sagittarians that this reading is for? One or two cards, please for the sign of Sagittarius. Strongest energies around the sign of Sagittarius, please. What do you wanna show me for my sign of Sagittarius? Anything you wanna tell me about their current energies around them right now for the sign? There they are. Just had to be a little patient. Temperance. <laughs> All right, Sagittarians, what we got going on here? Well, this is it right here. I have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is current energies right now. This is what I asked for. The Queen of Pentacles is beautiful energy of a queen that holds on to her stability, very grounded energy, but uh, that queen worked very hard to achieve her self-worth. I have the Nine of Wands. This is like something has been prickling at you, you know? Um, it is a card about uh, being wounded, but literally there are thorns in this woman's shirt. I'm holding on to something you believe with your self-worth. I have the Four of Wands. <clears throat> this is about, uh, it's my 1111 card. So it's like gateways are opened, things are happening. You still feel like you're being prickled by something. And here comes the King of Wands. Leo energy. But in your current energies is I feel that no matter what you're going through right now, you are determined to succeed and win. Because that's what the King of Wands is all about. And I started with the Queen of Pentacles. And this is the queen of holding on to your self-worth that you've worked so hard to achieve. That queen is beautiful, you know, but something's prickling you about a Four of Wands. There's something around you that feels like maybe something opened up with a relationship or a job but it's, it's prickling at you. And I have the king at the end here in your current energies. This is the king of determination, the hardworking, determined king to win at all costs. All right, let's look at something you've recently been through. Okay, spirit guides. Show me something my Sagittarians have recently been through that this reading is for. I just hear one more shuffle. For the sign of Sagittarius, show me something my Sagittarians have recently been through that this reading is for. I have the Four of Swords, Sagittarians. This is about uh, <sighs> taking a time out, you know, being a little withdrawn, trying to rest, meditate, heal. I don't know what from yet, but let's go find out. Something my Sagittarians have recently been through, please, that this reading is for for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Something my Sagittarians have recently been through that this reading is for. Hmm, okay. Bottom of the deck is I have the Knight of Cups. This is always my strongest energy. Hold on one second here. I have it with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, recently, maybe going through this right now, but the Seven of Pentacles is about, uh, I feel you are thinking about, do I want to put more work into something that I've been giving my love to? That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm going to go with. Then I have the Queen of Swords. This is the Queen of seeing through things with no emotion. You know, if the Queen doesn't feel that something is being trustworthy or honest, the Queen does not tolerate it. That Queen of Swords detaches herself and, uh, you know, because I have the two swords under that and then I have the almighty manifester. 
So I kind of stop at the major arcanas under the deck, you know, and I feel that you're at a crossroads about something you've been giving your love to. With uh, the magician here, I do feel that you are trying to create something and manifest something, but what is blocking you is you being at this crossroads, you know. Um, let's keep going. I have big death showing up, Scorpio energy of transformation with another major arcana justice. I have it with the page cups and the eight of wands in reverse. Recently in the past, uh, with justice here, that's Libra and Scorpio, with the page of water. New eager love to get something started with love. I feel that justice is showing up here with Scorpio. Um, recently in the past, you transformed something that you thought was going to be a new beginning with something new with love and justice. It's like um, you were you were wondering if the scales were going to be balanced. That's what I'm feeling. And then the eight of wands in reverse. It's like feeling like there was no forward movement with this. Just saying what the cards are saying. I have the hangman feeling a little upside down with the eight of swords and then the eight of cups. So recently in the past, it's as if something is getting you caught in your thoughts about something here. And the hangman is, um, that might be someone else's energy. I kind of feel that maybe someone has certain beliefs about how things should be, which is leaving them stuck. And I have the Eight of Cups, and I feel that right now you're thinking about walking away with a lot of thought, or if you haven't done it already. And I'm looking to theirs next. So if that sounds like something you've been going through, everybody's situation is different. You know, it looks like to me, I have two eights finishing this off. Actually, three. I have the Eight of Wands in reverse with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. And then, you know, I have the hangman here. I feel that you're caught in your thoughts about something that hasn't been moving forward in the right direction. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Spirit guides, show me the opposing energies my Sagittarians have been dealing with. If you are not dealing with anyone, there is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. I do this because a lot of subs have asked me they want to know how the other person is feeling. Crossing energies, please the sign of Sagittarius. Tell me about the person my Sagittarians have been dealing with. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me about the crossing energies for the sign of Sagittarius? Thank you. The other person they've been dealing with. All right. Crossing energies for the, all right. <laughs> for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you. Hmm. I have the Knight of Wands under the deck. This is a very passionate night. Oh, on a mission of passion, determination. But this knight likes to fly in and out with the Queen of Pentacles, which I feel is your energy because it was in your first card under your current energies is the Queen of Pentacles. I feel that you are being very grounded and stable and holding on to something with a lot of earth energy from someone who is passionately always in and out. Like maybe one minute they're hot, the next minute they're cold. And then I have the Page Cup showing up. Same cards. Eight of Swords. Yeah. So it's the new eager Page of Cups in your energy with the Eight of Swords. They're getting caught in their head about something here because then I have the Chariot with the Queen of Wands and the Devil. Uh... Their energy is, they feel that you're a very passionate, fiery person. And with the chariot here, I feel that they sense that either they step up to the plate in the right way or something, or you're going to take off. Because I have the devil showing up, you guys, in their energy with the eight of swords. You know, this is someone who may be possessive. Maybe they get caught up in bad things. And with the Eight of Swords here, you had that in your energy as well. You both look like you're getting caught up in your thoughts about this because this Queen of Wands, I feel, is your energy. Very passionate, determined queen. And I don't think you're going to put up with much. In the energies, I do have the Fool taking a leap of faith, which has turned into a lot of Seven of Wands standing their ground. You know, and that is what I feel. The Fool is zero major arcana, but it is about starting over. They took a leap of faith, you know, a new direction. 
but now it's just like everything that comes at them they're standing their ground i had the seven of cups i have been two sevens so far in their energy that's kind of weird seven of cups with the seven of wands is uh i feel that they chose their cup but now they're standing their ground and i feel that this person is something that you I, I feel something weird here. I do have the Ace of Pentacles. I have two more cards left, you guys. Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of a solid new opportunity. But boy, with the Nine of Swords here, um, it really is leaving them with some sleepless nights. You know, I feel a lot of conflict here. And then I have the Four of Wands in their energy. This is someone who wants to create things to happen. Because you, in your current energies, you have the Nine of Wands with the Four of Wands. That four of wands is prickling at you, Sagittarians. And this person definitely wants gateways to open. They want to take a leap of faith towards you because this is facing you, the fool. But right behind that fool, I have this devil. Right here. The way the cards are put down. And then I have this passionate queen. You know, and I have two queens and I feel your energy. I just feel like you are holding on to your self-worth. You're not going to tolerate a whole lot. But this person, I feel, wants to, to, I feel possession here or something. I don't know why, but that is what I feel. I, I feel something weird. So let's move on to your incoming. <laughs> for the sign of Sagittarius, I am going to get one or two cards from my Mystical Moments deck for the incoming energies. That sounds like something you've been through in the past. This is your incoming. That's how, you know, everybody's story is different, but I resonate with people that way. Spirit guides, one or two cards about the incoming energies for my beautiful Sagittarians. What do you want to show me? One or two cards for the incoming energies. Thank you. I don't know if that one wants to come. I guess it wants to go. <laughs> is it staying or is it going? Okay, well, I have the Emperor. Mm, I have four cards. I have the Six of Cups. Oh. I have the nine of eight of pentacles and I have the king of swords, Aquarian energy incoming. Wow. Uh, the emperor Aries, but incoming energies is you standing in the power of controlling the things and people around you. I'm kind of loving it already. It's a big card. And then with the Eight of Pentacles, you're going to put a lot of work into yourself and a situation around you. Transform it into a beautiful butterfly. And I have the Six of Cups. This is with somebody you've known for a while. You know, maybe you haven't met this person yet. And when you do, it's going to be like a kindred spirit. Because I have the King of Swords showing up and this is Aquarian energy. You know, I feel that something that you haven't been able to control recently is you're going to have total power over it. I just, I feel it in the incoming energies. I mean, the emperor with that eight of pentacles and the emperor has all those people and things around it being controlled by the emperor. I don't know, Sagittarians. <laughs> Guess you're going to get your way after all. Spirit guide, tell me about the incoming energies. I'm just going to do it, have something to do with a lot of things. Tell me about the incoming energies, please. For the sign of Sagittarius. What do you want to show me? I'm hold on. For the sign of Sagittarius. I have to do one more shuffle, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. When my cards don't align, the energy is not proper. All right. Spirit guides. The incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius. What do you want to show me, please? Incoming energies. That was freaky. Incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Tell me about the incoming energies for my beautiful Sagittarians that this reading is for. Thank you. Mm. I have the chariot under the deck, Sagittarians. Big Cancerian energy with the four of wands showing up again, Sagittarians. And I have the knight of love. <laughs> Sagittarians, you got something coming towards you with a lot of will and determination for victory and success. And it's my Four of Wands celebratory gates opening up for you with the Knight of Love. 
Whatever you haven't been able to control in the past, well, I think it's going to be playing out in everything you want with that emperor here. Hmm. All right, let's put this away. I have the hermit Virgo energy with the devil, two of swords, and then I have the king of wands showing up, incoming. Uh, hermit with the devil, huh? Well, incoming energies is you are really going to be withdrawn and analyzing someone around you. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be anybody because it's in the opposing energies that I feel has been prickling at you with the earlier cards, your current energies, and you're going to be at a crossroads about this. With the King of Wands here, um, this is about the King of Determination to succeed and win it. Like I said, it all costs. Well, I mean, not to do anything bad or harmful, but if the King doesn't win, it's not going to be a happy moment. I have the Five of Wands. There's going to be some passionate clanking of the wands. And I have it with Big O'Leo showing up. Strength. This is telling me to tell you to stand your ground with strength showing up. Um, I do feel that you're going to be at a crossroads about something. But with the Emperor here, it's like controlling everything and everyone around you. I have it with the Eight of Pentacles putting a lot of work into a situation. Being at a crossroads, though, and being withdrawn with somebody or someone around you that you feel is toxic, you know? And with the King of Wands here, it's a determination to win. I have more Leo energy strength from the Five of Wands, which is going to be disagreements and conflicts. But stand your ground without a doubt with these two cards. That's what I have for you. I'm going to get one or two cards from the mystical moments. For the sign of Sagittarius, Let's take a drink of water. Let's see. All right, spirit guides. One quick shuffle, Sagittarians. These are from my spirit guides. It always ties my readings together. What do you want to tell the sign of Sagittarius, please, about this beautiful reading for them today? One or two messages that you want to tell my Sagittarius. Well, that was a little freaky. But okay, I'll take it. First card in front of me is the five of Raphael turned up. The other one turned down. This is the five. I do believe we ended with the five of wands. Hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunity for happiness. Search for the silver lining. That is amazing. That's like if, if, you, if, you, if you can't come to some type of agreement... There's going to be a silver lining around here somewhere because the next card out is I have, here it is again, I have strength. And you had it in the incoming energies, the last card out, strength. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So what I kind of feel about this is with the Emperor showing up, I really do feel that you're going to be controlling a situation by standing in the Emperor power. You know, success, Aries energy, manifestation, creating what it is that you want. Well, beautiful reading, Sagittarians. But anyway, I hope you guys have a happy birthday. Many blessings to you. I hope you get everything you want within reason. <laughs> Thank you for viewing me today, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day.